you're trying to improve the position that you get to at the top of your backswing, here's a great exercise to make sure your body is doing the right thing. For lots of golfers, I think they presume that getting to the top of the backswing is all about what the hands and the arms and the club head is doing. Now, yes, the club head is our barometer of where was the club at the top and how far did the swing go back, but if the body's not helping, the club can't get into the right position. For some golfers, we see the golf swing become too orientated around what the hands and arms are doing, and the hands and arms are trying to lift the club into the right place, but it's never going to get into that high, wide, tall position we want unless the body's involved. So focus on making the correct motion with the body, the club will get into a better position for you. Great, correct position for the body is going to be dictated by placing the club over the top of the shoulders and upper arms here, tilting forwards to a good position. Now you notice in this position, the handle of the golf club points to my intended target. So it points to a flag way out in the distance. And I'm going to have my golf ball down in front of me as well. I can use that as a little marker. And from this position, I'm going to point the handle that's pointing at the flag down to the golf ball and ideally slightly behind the golf ball. So I turn, 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 and try and get the handle to point slightly down behind the golf ball. So from this angle here, you can see I wind my body up. I'm turning the clubs, trying to get it right round here. And you can hear my body, there's a bit of strain there, a bit of stress there as I wind my shoulders around. And that's showing me that I've got good upper body rotation. So I'm turning my upper body as far back and as around as I can to try and get some upper body movement. Without that, my swing would look a bit short. The club wouldn't point at or behind the golf ball. Now, if you're a little limited in your mobility, you might start to find that a little bit tough. But let's try and get as far around as we can. 80, 90 degrees is ideal. Somebody like Roy McIlroy on the TV, you know, 120 degrees of shoulder rotation here. He's right back behind the ball, generating an awful lot of power. But if you're struggling with mobility, maybe that's a good exercise to start you moving. One of the consideration I would suggest there is let's make sure the legs don't do the wrong thing. If you struggle with rotation and you get a bit stuck here and you go, whoa, if I move my legs, I can get all the way around like Pete wanted me to. And then we get into this position. Now it doesn't take much to realize that that isn't what we want in a backswing. We don't want the left heel doing too much. We don't want the left knee doing too much. We certainly don't want the right knee straightening and locking out here. So it's trying to keep the legs nice and solid and stable, turning the upper body round to the 90 degree and then driving our way through. So again, upper body, turns back and drives through. And then hopefully if we turn that into a proper golf swing, because I practice turning my upper body in the right way, I've got my upper body turning this way in this feeling. Legs are doing very little, quite passive. And then I can get nice and powerfully through the ball to a full release. But I build the power in my backswing phase to then release in my downswing phase. Utilize that club over your shoulders exercise to generate more power and more turn in your golf backswing.